Beast from the East. If you guys are from the UK, you've probably heard that term quite a bit this week, uh, due to, of course, the adverse weather conditions that we've been experiencing. It's been very snowy where I'm from, uh, and it hasn't really let up all week, so it's been a very wintry conditions. Now, I thought that's a perfect chance for me to use that term, that saying, in today's video, because 87 rated Milinkovic Savic has come out, and to me, he's from the east because he's from eastern europe right serbia um and and he is a beast so he is today's beast from the east and i thought you know that has some sort of relevance this week so i'll put a squad together featuring three players from this week's team of the week one of them being the beast from the east that is sms uh, so in goal i had edison and 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 he's the best keeper on the game for me uh, then we have 84 rated Arias, so second in form Arias here, who of course has a great link to a very, very good overpowered player on this game, uh, and so I think he's going to be one that people use a lot. I've then got a relatively sort of standard centre-back combo of Rudiger, 6 foot 3, medium high work rates, he's good, de good defensively, pretty quick, like generally not a bad centre-back to have. Uh, and then, of course, Virgil van Dijk. This is the transferred version. Uh, regular gold version. I do have, of course, the Futmus uh, Saints version. But, well, I need the Liverpool uh, badge on this guy so that I can link him to my centre mid. Uh, and, and, of course, he's a great player as well. Six foot four. Uh, he's slightly more attacking than someone like Rudiger. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. It just makes him slightly more aggressive. Uh, and then Vit Vitaly Denisov at left back. An odd one. But you'll see why I've got him in the squad in a little bit. And actually, the stats that he's got look pretty good. Uh, and I'm not too... Uh, uh, yeah, he's not actually that much of a weak link in the squad. So, we've got the defence in. Let's move into the midfield then. So, this is the player that I'm talking about. We needed the Liverpool badge on uh, on Van Dijk so that we could get a strong link off to Emre Chan. And the Germany link from the Prem obviously gets him one of them as well. Uh, but this is another player from this week's Team of the Week. 82 rated Emre Chan has got uh, 81 defending and 86 physical. And the rest of his stats look alright. He's pretty expensive for, for that. For the stats that he's got. But of course a very popular player on the game. And then Herving Lozano makes his way into the squad. Uh, I've had this guy since he was 38k. I think he's a lot more than that now. Because everyone loves him as a super sub in the weekend league. Uh, and he is just unbelievable uh, on FIFA. 95 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting. 4 star skills and weak foot. But basically plays better than Messi in game. I promise you. He really does. He's so so good. Manuel Fernandez comes into the side at left mid today. This 4-5-1 will not be staying. I'm going to show you what I'm going to switch the team to in-game. Uh, and that's the whole reason I've built the squad like this. Is so that we can switch it around and have the, the right players in the right positions. Because this Fernandez, to me, looks like he'd be a great centre mid. You know, he, he, Look at the stats. Those stats for 15,000 coins, that's pretty mental. He, he's, he's actually a great, great little, uh, a little item to have on this game. We then got Marco Parolo, which alongside Denisov is probably the other slightly weak link or boring player because he's just a regular standard 81 rated gold, right? Uh, stats are really good across the board though for, for a pretty standard item and he is going to do a job as a slightly more defensive centre midfielder for us. But it's all about this guy, right? Milinkovic Savic. 87 rated so this is the what third in form with uh, everything but the pace way into the 80s he's also had an upgrade recently he's six foot three and he's had the skill move upgrade as well he's got four star four star and that right there has caused a lot of hype for this player and the beast from the east of europe uh, has got some mad in-game stats and holds a price on him that's for sure so i bought this before uh, the weekly rewards came out uh, and he was pretty extinct. I, I got the only one that was on the market at the time. I managed to sell him again after this video uh, for the 400k and then he seemed to be a little bit more common after rewards but I, I fear he's going and heading towards that 400k again and he may well go extinct. I hope that's not the case. And then the rest of the team is filled out by a certain 88 rated Immobile uh, who, well, just take a look at them stats right there. He's got 86 pace, 91 
shoot an 86 dribbling and 83 physical. He, of course, also received an upgrade from an 87 uh, to an 88. So this right here is the 4-1-2-1-2 formation that I would switch to in-game uh, and the positions that I would play each player. Uh, so Emre Chan is going to chill as a CDM for us with Parolo at left centre mid, Manuel Fernandez at right centre mid, uh, and then Milinkovic Savic at Cam. I want him to be up there getting them long shots in, of course, uh, with Lozano at left striker, four star skill, four star weak foot, Immobile at right striker. Uh, he's only got three star skills, so we'll utilize him on his stronger side. He does, however, have a relatively all right weak foot. Um, so that's that. So moving on in to the clips, we can start to see them now. Uh, it really, once I got, you know, edited these clips and stuff up, I realized that I scored goals with only three players in this team. And as you can imagine, it was the main three. So it was Milinkovic, Savic from Cam. And I'm going to show you those goals at the end. Uh, and then also, of course, my two strikers, effectively. So Lozano uh, and Immobile. So they were the, all of the players that were the only players which were able to get goals for me with this team. And I think what that shows is that the team was set up kind of well. Because... Uh, I don't really want my centre mids or my CDM getting a goal for us. Yeah, the odd header from a corner would be alright from one of my centre backs. But I'm not expecting goals to come from there really. So, uh, to get goals from my attacking midfielder and my two out and out strikers uh, is exactly what I'm looking for. And it means that the, the build up play was nice throughout the midfield. It often went to Milinkovic Savic who then played it through. And then a 1-2 between my two strikers. And, of course, that is where you find the back of the net. That's my play style. That's how I do things. Um, and it worked out well for me today. So, uh, just quickly, obviously, there's no face cam again today, guys. I think the voice is sounding uh, a little bit more normal. I'm, I'm in the the stage of, of a lot of coughing going on. So, there's probably lots of like mini cuts in the commentary throughout this video. Just because that means I can stop and cough my heart up. Uh, but yeah, that's that's frustrating when uh, when I have a job that I do. So I know I go on about it a lot, and uh, whenever I get ill, get ill, that you guys always hear about it all week long, and I apologise for that. Uh, it just I hate it because I do a job where I literally use my voice, uh, and I know I'm on camera and stuff as well, and like the gameplay and stuff is also a, ba a massive part of it. Uh, but when I can't properly speak, uh, it really like gets me down because I can't properly do my job. So uh, apologies if any of the videos haven't been up to scratch or have been subpar compared to um, what you usually expect or anything. But uh, yeah, just bear with me. I'm trying to get over it. And the thing is, if I'm just trying to bring you guys daily content and stuff and not have like a whole week off sick... Uh, then I don't rest my voice and it doesn't necessarily get better. So I'm usually sick for longer because of stuff like that. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of me like, uh, you can stop playing the violin for me now. Uh, we can we can move on in back to the goals. You're seeing the ones that are going in from Lozano right now. And I mentioned earlier that he just seems better than Messi. And he just is one of the most crazy OP players on this game. That is for sure. It's nuts how quick he is. It's nuts how he can take the perfect first touch. Uh, and it's crazy how he can just net absolutely everything. Uh, he is, without doubt, I would say the best super sub on this game. Yeah, like, because of his ability to finish is perfect. It's fine. And he's got that crazy pace. And if he comes on with that pace and with his agility and everything like that, um, and, and, and defenders that are, he's up against are tired, yeah, like it, it, it makes him crazy. And I, I wonder if that's, I don't know. I, I almost thought for a little while that maybe that's why he felt so good is because a lot of people use him as a, as a super sub, right? Because he's difficult to get into a team. And I guess we'll find that out over the next couple of weeks because... I reckon a lot of people are going to start using him in a 4-5-1 formation and then switch it. Because of this new Arias that's come out, he seems like a really usable right back. I loved him, by the way. Thought he was a superb right back. Did a great job for me. Um, so I feel like a lot of people are going to probably start Lozano now. And I wonder what that will do. Who's going to be the new super sub? That'll be interesting to see. But we're on to the final goals that I've got now. And they are from uh, Milinkovic-Savic. SMS, the Lazio midfielder, and 
he is he's a, he's a, it's been talked about quite a lot lately whether it's just on the on the FIFA front I don't think it is you know there's lots of talks of of big clubs being interested in this guy in the summer and stuff and you know he could hold quite a price tag because of his his insanely good performances for for Lazio uh, and in terms of on FIFA we've gone from what is a crazy uh Upgrade to, to to get him up to you know well, he's had a couple of informs and stuff and the the second inform is is probably the best value for money one right so I've just bought that on the road to glory it was a, it was a good price it was just over 150k for stats that are pretty similar to this one right here and after using them both for a little bit can't really tell a difference so he may well be the beast from the east but you'd probably be doing yourself a little bit of a favor. If his price does stay above 300, you know, close to 400k, it may have stabilized a bit more by the time this video's out. Uh, but if it does stay super expensive, Honestly, I don't notice a huge amount of difference between this one and the lower rated version uh, because there's a lot of just plus ones on the stats across the board and of course you're not really going to notice that. Where he really got the increase is when he went from that first inform to the second. So that is where the that's where the money is held really so uh this has been a, a squad builder featuring three players from the new team of the week a nice formation change to to show that uh, we can utilize players that are, are get special items in positions that you don't want them and stuff uh, and play them where you want to in game and of course showcasing the main man the beast from the east that is Milinkovic Savage so I hope you guys have enjoyed smash a thumbs up if you have thanks so much for watching I'll catch you next time peace